This is pretty monumental, and it's a mix of something we've seen before and something we've never seen before. This is Spectra, and we've all seen Spectra a bunch of times. In fact, I've gone with the team to multiple countries to about 15 different trade shows that had Spectra. But this is the first time you can buy it. And let me explain. Anyone can go on AliExpress, Alibaba, you can go to DHgate, you can go to Weifeng directly and get Spectra screens, panels. But this is the first time it's built into a unit that has a use case. It's ready, it's here, it has a barcode, it's got a USB-C charger, and it comes from a company, an actual compiled, fully retail available product. It is for sale now. It's not crowdfunding, it's not pre-order, it's just available now. It's all made in India by a company called Livecraft. This is the mana clue, and this has a Spectra screen, an interactable Spectra screen. And we're gonna dive into all of it right now. So let's just talk about the actual build first. The whole thing is made out of wood, literally. It's a whole chunk of wood. You have this very nice tapestry right here. You have these aesthetic rings that don't serve any purpose but to hold it together. And it's just to simulate a kind of Rolodex notepad kind of thing. You have the Livecraft inspiring everyday made in India back panel plate. And this very ingenious design of staggering the slits in the wood. So you actually get some flex and movement without a hinge. You do not require an actual hinge. And that's really the whole thing. This little clasp that's look like it's supposed to hold on to a little ribbon of some sort, that is the touch conductor. That is the touch button. So before we touch that, let's look at the screen. They are using Spectra, which is, again, a first of its kind. No, there's no touch panel integration, so there's no capacitive or resistive or EMR layer or anything like that. So you are going to have to live and die by this, which has a short press and a long press function. The screen itself is sunken, surrounded by this beautiful wood, and you do have a power button slider on the side with a USB-C. So it's pretty integrated into the unit, and it's very finished as well. You'll see that there are no seams around the screen, and there's no real bleeding or kind of misplaced ratio of where the screen should be versus where it is, it's overall pretty nice. Now let's actually dive into the unit itself. When you press this button, something happens. It refreshes. When it's in its kind of programmed state, it doesn't really take that long to refresh. For example, if we're within this particular set of passages, it's going to refresh pretty quickly. When you have to refresh the entire thing, then you get into the multi-stage refresh where it kind of flickers and it kind of seizes out a little bit. But overall, you'll see that it is fairly isolated to where it knows it needs to refresh and the elements it does not need to refresh, it simply doesn't touch. So it is actually doing very well. And you'll see uh, there again, we went into that that kind of a little bit of a psychedelic adventure when it flashes wildly in order to create the next thing. If you long press, this is where you get your commands. So as you see, you can go up and down like this, click the main menu, click on info, color, save quote, etc. We're going to look at most of these because really this device can't do anything else. So we have to look at all this. First thing we're going to do is the main menu. That brings us over into the main menu, which shows the battery, all of the information up top, your accurate date and time, and your UI right here. So you have run, scroll, settings, and favorites. Let's go to settings first and long press on that and see what we have. Wi-Fi setup. Don't worry you can set up Wi-Fi with your phone. You don't have to cycle through a keyboard on the unit itself. That would be very hard, depending on the length of your Wi-Fi password. So don't worry about that. You do have time and date set up as well. Anytime you want to select something, you long press and then it 
triggers it. Let's go to advanced settings and see what we have here. We have long touch, slow, calibrate battery, adjust the contrast, and flip right. Let's go down to adjust the contrast. That's the one we want to see because that's the one that's going to really change how the unit appears to most people. And I believe it's one through nine. So nine total choices without a zero. And you'll see that it does have different levels of kind of, I would say boldness and a little bit darkness when you go and change that. But we're gonna just adjust this back to a little bit of a darker experience because it just seems to look less faded out. And here is where we wanna see screen cleanup. Screen cleanup takes 20 seconds like it says approximately and what it does is it completely wipes whatever was physically on the screen no this is not doing a factory default you're not deleting all of your time setups your scrolls anything else it's simply doing a massive complete overhaul refresh of the screen in order to give you back the ability to have no ghosting or very little ghosting and that's the thing about spectra when you have it it looks so good and real and it is the closest to the surface appearance of any e-paper ever it doesn't look like there's anything on top of this and there really isn't this is the epd the electronic paper display so what this does is give you a photo hyper realistic appearance at the slowest possible refresh it is very very slow and that's really all we can do is utilize the slowness to the best we can now i will tell you as we said at the top of the hour i have been to trade shows personally with the team in multiple countries that have tested this screen technology spectra this is the only device that actually has any sort of ui elements or any sort of tangible physical interaction and I will say although there's no basis of comparison it does do it the best you are able to click on something and you are able to execute that thing what I did was navigate away from the the menu into this quote area which has a backdrop which has text which still has my date and time and what day it is via a different UI element, all with a pure dark black background shadow. I mean, this is as good as it gets currently as per the date of this upload. We are getting very, very close to being able to put this on an ebook reader if we could harness the refresh just a little bit better. And you'll see that that black we had there is gone and now it is pure yellow so without doing a complete screen wipe we are able to flip between a full pure yellow into a full pure black and now i've gotten rid of all of the elements yes there is some staining up top but this is tremendous progress look at that image that just rendered in the background there that is insanity how we have gotten this far and you might say well this is all just silly talk because we have phones and we have e-readers that have been around for 20 years yes but we have never been able to harness color to the visual quality as spectra to this very day to have it be in our hands to have a button to press to do different things and navigate away and pull multiple pictures with only seconds of refresh that is incredibly good news that we've gotten this far that this unit is able to change state so rapidly in the adversity in the face of adversity of everything it faces within the world of spectra is nothing short of a miracle how it's able to only take a few seconds of that jittery kind of and we're done and here we are in a different page Granted, this is only a couple colors, but the concept is still there that this is able to put the theory to full work and push it to its limits. And the live craft is doing exactly that. It is stretching what Spectra has been able to do until recently, and it pushes it past its limits and gives it a platform that the user can now utilize their fingertips 
And granted, again, there's no touch screen, but we are not too far away. All this is, is an execution button, basically. So this is saying, do A or do B. If I press it once, it's A. If I press it long, it's B. There's no reason you couldn't put a touch digitizer that triggers the same ping and say, well, he swiped, so now do the thing. And this would be A, and that would be B, for example. So we are getting very close. This is almost a unit that is finished, but it is more of a proof of concept that Spectra can be applied to anything at this point in the year 2025. Livecraft app. Sign up, as you see, there I am, I just logged in with Google, and you can start downloading scrolls directly on your unit via the application. This is all very simple, it sets up easily with your phone and your Wi-Fi, there's no learning curve or anything like that. So now if we go to scrolls and go down to download scrolls, Then go down to browse scroll catalog you will see here now you have a ton of different content you have famous literary attitude philosophy so you can click on something click on the style go down to maybe Greek scholars and there you go so you can now have Greek scholars assigned to the afternoon and now when the afternoon arises it will play that scroll exactly when it needs to so the afternoon the night etc and it'll all be in line of where you set it up now remember this is supposed to be on your desktop it's not supposed to be interacted with all that much but the beauty is is that you can and for anything that you want to put on your unit just use the app click on something like Jane Austen for example and then click this right here send to mana and it'll send it directly to your device that you have linked up you can always click add a mana right there and it'll show that we have one device connected with my profile and you have different time slots for different kinds of quotes this is some of the best news we've had in the display category of e-paper devices in the longest time for the past decade spectra has taken on many forms 3000 3100 spectra 6 but it has never been applied to anything outside of basic photo frames until this very day. This thing has an app integration via Google Play, onboard Wi-Fi, multiple touch functions, contrast settings, and its own little micro store to download things which they call scrolls. This truly is a huge step in the right direction. It's hard to take it seriously looking at it at first because it seems like an amalgamation of so many things an unused screen technology, a screen you can't touch and yet it being made out of pure wood demands to be touched. It looks like a desktop memo pad that you just can't flip over, but honestly, it all works. A mind had to be pretty on point that day whoever made this, but for now, thank you to Livecraft for sending us and introducing us to the Manaclue. <laughs>